Today I want to show you how I have configured my Emacs. Now I use Emacs with the org mode for doing a lot of things, but I also use Emacs on um, Windows and uh, also on Mac. Now when I'm working on different computers, there is a challenge of, of course, keeping your files synced. So for basically syncing the files, I use the Dropbox because Dropbox is free. I don't have to use Dropbox. I can also set up my own server, but uh, Dropbox is very convenient. So this particular part is uh, not very complicated. We have plenty of ways of uh, syncing files. Free, free options are there. You have open source options or you can also do your own custom DIY uh, kind of a Dropbox thing if you want. There are many solutions online. Now what I wanted to show you is uh, how I start my Emacs. Now I don't really start Emacs uh, by uh, using the Emacs command. Like I can also do this. For example, if I want to take a look at my Emacs, my Emacs is right now on uh, Mac installed in this particular, uh, I mean, the the location is u slash user slash local slash bin slash Emacs. But I, I don't really start uh, Emacs like this on Mac, also on uh, Windows. What I normally do, I have a script, a very simple custom script that I have configured uh, for both Windows and uh, Mac. Let me show you the script for uh, for uh, Windows. So it is a batch file. So let me open uh, this file called emacs underscore portable dot bat because we are talking about Windows. Now th the file itself is uh, nothing but two lines. The first line is uh, setting the home for emacs and the second line, the first line is setting the home and the second line is uh, basically calling Emacs. Now what happens is when Emacs opens up, it will treat c colon slash Emacs as the directory where all the files will sit, all the org mode files and uh, it could be synced using Dropbox for example. So it could be any directory. So this is about uh, Windows. For doing it on Mac, I have a similar script. You can of course do the same thing on Linux. So again, two lines. The first line is setting the home. The, uh, th the second line is simply using the same Emacs that is installed, but I'm using the hyphen NW option here so that uh, it opens within the terminal. I prefer working within the, within the terminal. Uh, I find it less distracting and uh, you don't have to but this is something I prefer. Now to start the Emacs and make sure that the files are executable if you um, have to let us say run this. So you can always make the file executable but when you run it on a Mac I can call in a dot um, forward slash emacs portable mac dot sh and it will open my emacs. Now the, talking about the home variable, home variable is uh, important because when I do something like uh, let us say control x control f it will if I want I can also do, do slash it will look for the path on my computer but if I do something like this it will all, always open the same Dropbox folder. And this is where my .emacs file also sits because when I look at this particular file, I am uh, using this file to of course uh, configure my org mode agenda file. And uh, I do have my, like all the, all the directories that you see here, like the org directory is uh, using this uh, this uh, path which is uh, starting with of course uh, my home directory that I have configured already 
uh, and this home directory is not really applicable for this home variable is not really applicable for other applications this is only while my emacs is, emacs is uh, running so this is something that i do because when i run it uh, i have home variable which is set up for this particular session of emacs and whenever i am working on org mode or i'm using any agenda files they're all uh, basically relative to my current dropbox directory which i showed you earlier but in my dot emacs file i don't have to modify anything the same file works on uh, or the same modes they all work uh, perfectly fine when i am uh, working on windows so this is this is all i wanted to share in this video of course it's a way that works for me it may not work exactly for you but in case you want to use emacs um on multiple computers you can at the same time i also sometimes use uh, the mobile app there is uh, one uh, app that you can use with the uh, uh org mode if you want so it will look for uh, the the name of the app is called mobile org i believe if i'm not wrong let me just uh, search while i'm talking to you so the app will uh, basically do uh the same thing it is it will connect to your uh, it can connect to your dropbox and also maybe a, a directory on your uh, own server using ssh and when you open the app it will basically give you the uh application where you can uh, work on uh, work work on basically uh, uh your your org files so let me show you the file uh, very quickly so you can also not the file but uh, the mobile app that i was talking about so let me just click on this button so this is the the mobile org website you can uh, download it um from i believe uh, uh i think it is also on the app store if i'm not wrong but uh, this is something that i have been using it is on uh, the window or uh, the the ios app store but i believe it is also on uh, the uh, android app store let me just search google app store or google play store i think it is google play store anyways you get the idea so let us search for org mode yeah so orgsly org orgsly orgsly is the name of the app so this is something that i use uh, on my mobile i don't massively re rely on it it works great by the way uh, let us say if you are syncing the files so you can basically add new items in the org files you can uh, update them you can uh, change the schedule dates and it will always be up to date as long as you have your files synced with your mobile but i prefer uh working when i'm planning something i prefer to keep things on my computer but let us say if i'm traveling i'm on a train which is not the case so far this year uh, but uh, let us say if i'm traveling and i'm uh, on a train and i want to take a look at my up to date agenda from org mode using this app i can and and i and i do that quite a lot but it is up to you if you want to use it so this is something that i wanted to um, share today i just wanted to show you my setup how i have been using uh, emacs org mode for many years now and it worked it it has been working great for me but in case you have any other such suggestion to improve the way i described i'm more than happy and i'll be very glad to hear that suggestion so this is all this is all i wanted to share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much